In the face of all these, Chief Executive Officer of the Buffer Stock Company, Hanan Abdul Wahab, says they will not supply maize onto the market to stabilize rising price of the commodity, accusing traders of hoarding maize bought from farmers. Well, at the onset of the fall Amiwem invasion last year, Joy News produced a series of reports warning of a possible maize shortage. Here's a report by Mike Lee, Justice Beidou, uh, from the northern regional town of Bimbila in October. In this land, there is uncertainty. This time of the year should be the major harvest season, and yet there is very little to take home. Wumbe Al Hassan has spent nearly 2,000 cities cultivating this 10 acre farm over the last six months. Now, all the days of hard work has been brought down by the fall army worms. Life is not normal again. There is hunger looming. How are we going to feed ourselves? How are we going to feed our family? Like Wumbe, hundreds, possibly thousands of farmers share similar stories of loss and pain. Since March this year, the pests have invaded nearly 120,000 hectares of farmland. Government pledged a fight back with its pesticide control program. That intervention, it seems, failed to trickle down to the people who needed it the most. Ascension officers here are, inad uh, are woefully inadequate. One officer will be taking, let's say, 20, 25 communities. He cannot pass the information. Malnutrition resulting from a lack of food is already causing enough havoc. It is responsible for up to a third of all childhood deaths in Ghana now. One in every five children is now stunted. This part of Ghana, already one of the country's poorest, is also the most affected. It is the reason why any further shortage in food... Well, we've just got breaking news from Barclays Bank, Ghana. Um, its MD has resigned. You want to stay here. Uh, the business news comes out shortly and we'll give you all the details you need to hear on that one.